worship him. Jesus is the way. Amen. Hallelujah. Jesus is the way, the truth, and the life. Jesus is the one to know. Yes. Jesus is the way, the truth, and the life.
And matter of fact, uh, as I was going throughout my day today, you know, going to getting ready and getting things going, and I even had to go to the store. <laughs> but uh, the Lord just very sweetly just put in my heart that um, when we say praise is a choice, that means we have a choice to stay in praise. You see? So now when we talk about prayer, prayer is powerful and we every day we need to just kind of meditate on him night and day. And part of that prayer and one of the things that we can do as part of prayer is praise. And uh, so I'm going to go over a couple of scriptures and then we're going to take some time uh, near the uh, latter half of this message and just talk about uh, spontaneous praise and we're going to engage in spontaneous praise. Not just talk about it, but let's go ahead and praise the Lord together. Amen. So I, I wanted to pull up a, a scripture for you, uh, Psalm 34, Psalm 34, and it's, um, I, if you probably notice, and if you've kind of uh, listened to me um, for any length of time, I always end up at Psalm 34 somehow. <laughs> Right, David? Right. So let's go ahead and go where, where I'm going to end up. Amen? And so um, <clears throat> Psalm 34, verses 1 to 4. Amen? And it says, listen to this. It says, I will bless the Lord at all times, and his praise shall continually be in my mouth. Amen. My soul makes its boast in the Lord. And it says, let the humble hear and be glad. Oh, magnify the Lord with me and let us exalt his name together. So, you know, if we just kind of look at that, the meat of that message, it talks about, first of all, we bless the Lord. Blessing the Lord is praising the Lord. It's acknowledging him. It's giving him the glory. And it, it's not based on how we feel. It's not based on if I'm having a good day or a difficult day. It has nothing to do with that. It, it says it right there. It says, his praise shall continually be in my mouth. So let's say um, you're going to the store and uh, you're going down the aisle and you're about to pick something up and somebody bumps your cart, cart, or let's say you're getting out of your car and somebody bangs the, the side door of your car and you get this big ding in the side and you actually don't even know who did it, you know, and you can kind of get a little bit upset about that. Those are the moments that we just decide and say, Lord, you got this. I praise you and I just give you the glory and I give you the honor and praise. Now, and so it's, it's not an easy thing, but it's it's real. And in, uh, in the times that we are in right now, the Lord just put on my heart that we need to uh, really hold on to praise like like no matter what, no matter, uh, like never before, like never before, because like never before, because in this season, people are looking for answers. People are looking for what can I do? How do I handle all these difficulties that are happening? And the Lord says, praise me. Give me the glory. Know that I'm with you. So, so we're going to talk a little bit more about that. But we praise him because of who he is. And then, and he is love. And then he is, God says in Jeremiah 31, I love this in Jeremiah 31, it says uh, that God loves us with everlasting love. Everlasting love. So not only is he love, but he gives us everlasting love. Wow. Just to know that he loves me with everlasting love gives me the the um the passion and the desire to want to thank him and to praise him because somebody loves me like that. Amen. We just want to constantly just say thank you, Lord, for loving me that way. Amen. I want to also take a look and before I go back to Jeremiah, because we are going to go back, I want to look take a look at uh Psalm 100, that's another one of my favorites. <laughs> so let's take a look at Psalm 100, amen. And it says here, once again, um, and I do want to make one uh, last comment about Psalm 34 as I was there. It talks about, oh, magnify the Lord. So we want to magnify him. That's praising him. And then I love how it says, it says let us 
exalt his name together. So that's why in a few minutes we're going to exalt his name together. Amen. So now let's go to Psalm 100. It says, make a joyful noise unto the Lord all the earth. The Lord says, make a joyful noise. Praise does not necessarily mean that you've got the best voice in the, uh, in the world, or it doesn't mean that you can play the best instrument in the whole wide world. But this praise just means that, um, that your heart is, praise can come through your words, and praise can come through song. Praise can come through your actions, amen? And most of the time, praise comes through our words or what we say with our mouth, amen? Like right now, when I'm saying, I magnify the Lord, I'm not singing it, I'm speaking it, amen? So it says, make a joyful noise unto the Lord, serve the Lord with gladness, and come into his presence with singing. So now, once again, that happens to talk about singing, but... You know, if you want to sing in your shower because you know you don't want to be around other people, that's okay. Go in your shower and sing. <laughs> Amen. But let your mouth make a joyful noise. I love how he talks about make a joyful noise. And, and a joyful noise can be any kind of noise that comes out of your mouth. It can come out of your hand through clapping. It can come out of your feet through dancing. But God knows our heart. So he's looking at our heart. Amen. And so that talks about um, praise. And I just want to make a couple comments about praise. Praise is personal. Praise is powerful. And praise is purposed proclamation. Amen. So when you praise God, when you praise God, it's a personal thing. It's between you and the Lord. That first praise is, is not about looking at other people and saying, hey, let's praise them together, woo-hoo, you know, it's, it's to him, and God is looking at our heart, and that, you know what's so beautiful about praise being personal, is that when you're going through difficulty, sometimes nobody else is around, but sometimes I might get in my closet, I might go into the bathroom, I might go somewhere, shut the door and say, Lord, I just want to just praise you, and I want to thank you. Amen. So praise is personal. It's not a group activity. Now, it can happen in a group setting, but it's individualized within the group setting. Amen. It's individualized within that group setting. Amen. And then this is, praise is powerful. You know, I'm going to say it this way. Praise is so powerful that the whole earth will praise him if we don't. And you know why praise is so powerful? Because praise can be used to, what it does is it ushers in and it tells the Lord that I trust you, Lord. It tells the Lord that I seek you first. It tells the Lord, Lord that you are great and you are mighty and I am more than an overcomer. And it's all through Christ Jesus. It's, all, it's always personal and it's powerful because of who he is. And when we praise him, his Holy Spirit uh, reminds our spirit that we have his love, his power, and his sound mind. Amen. And so I want to take a quick look at Jeremiah 31. So let's flip on over to Jeremiah 31 because uh, I saw a fantastic scripture in Je Jeremiah 31. And if you get a chance, actually verse 3 is the scripture that says, I have loved you with an everlasting love. So that's where that comes from, Jeremiah 31, 3. I'm going to go all the way down to verse 7. It says, uh, For thus says the Lord, Sing aloud with gladness for Jacob, and raise shouts for the chief of the nations. Now listen to these next three uh, attributes. It says, Proclaim, give praise, and say, O oh Lord, save your people, the remnant of Israel. And it says here, a great company shall return here. But I love how it says, proclaim and give praise. Right there in Jeremiah 31, verse 7, God tells us what to do. He says, proclaim my word, praise me. When we speak the word of God through our mouths, we are praising him. And we are proclaiming the word of God over our lives. Amen. And so uh, I want to, that is just a powerful scripture. So I'm just going to share a few things about the power of praise 
and what praise does in your life. Once again, in any, any time, right now, this very second, you can choose and say, Lord, I choose to praise you. When somebody wrongs you, Lord, I choose to praise you. When somebody gives you a compliment, you give God the praise. Amen? So choice is something that belongs to you and I. And we have to decide. So we're going to either choose to go and to think about the world and talk about the stuff that's going on in the world. Or we're going to say, Lord, we're, I trust you in this situation. So I'm going to talk a little bit about that. It says that praise is personal. It is always personal because it comes from you. And it is directed towards God the Father, God the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Praise opens up the way for the Lord to manifest his presence in our lives. So when we praise him, we usher in God's presence in our lives. And his ministering angels are all around. You may not see them. But I just love thinking about praise because the heavenly host is praising him at all times. And they're just saying, holy, 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 Lord God of hosts. Heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Oh, we just worship you and we praise you. That's, you know, pray, that's what praise does. Do you know that the angels and the heavenly hosts every go around the, the throne room of God and just say it holy, holy, holy. That's the kind of praise we're preparing for. That's the kind of praise that he wants from us. But we have to choose to do that. And it is so powerful. Praise, uh, it fills us and it equips us. Praise equips us and it strengthens us for the day. So, you know, when we're, when we're praising God, guess what? God reminds us that he's with us. He'll never leave us or forsake us. He says, with God, all things are possible. He reminds us that we can do all things through Christ who strengthened us. And according to his riches and glory, he will strengthen us in our inner man with his might by the power of his Holy Spirit. That's praising the Lord with the word of God. Amen. Praise tells God that we trust him. And, oh, and uh, trust him and that we trust that he will work every situation out according to his will. And I'll tell you the end of the story. It says praise is so powerful that it tells the Lord that we trust him. And it tells him that we believe that God will work all things out for our good, for those who love him and are, who are called by his name. So once again, he is love and he gives us his everlasting love. All we have to do is acknowledge him and say that we love him too. And so then he's working every situation out, no matter how difficult, whether it's cancer, whether it's um, uh, difficulty with this pandemic, whether it's um, children, issues within the family, within the marriage, within the job, needing finances. God says, I am working that out for your good son and daughter. God says, trust me, daughter. Praise me. Tell me that you trust me and watch what I will do for you. That's what praise does. Praise is a form of warfare. Satan hates praise. That's why he wants us to focus on the stuff in the world. But when we praise God with our mouth, Satan hates it. And guess what? When praise comes out of our mouth and the word of God comes out of our mouth, the enemy has to flee. He can't stand it and he doesn't want to be around it. That's why when Jesus was on the, uh, in the wilderness and the enemy tried to uh, uh, tempt him, and Jesus says, no, you worship the Lord God. That word worship and praise came out of his mouth. He says that you will worship the Lord and him alone. That was praising the Lord God. In the, and that's when Satan just got out of there. He couldn't take it anymore. He says, I'm out. You know, so the praise tells God that we glorify him. Praise is a form of warfare. You will open your mouth with words of praise and watch the enemy flee in your situation. What praise also does is it gets your focus off of yourself. And it puts your focus on him. And when you're praising him, guess what? He's taking care of all the other stuff that's going on around you. Well, the stuff that you've been praying about, the stuff that you've been wondering, Lord, what about this? What about that? God sees all of that. 
And he says, you keep praising me and I'll take care of that because you're telling me I got this. So God says, you trust me, daughter. You trust me, son. And pray for someone else. Pray for others. And keep praising God and pray for someone else and watch him work on your behalf. Amen. Praise gives God the glory. As I said a minute ago, it shows honor and respect. Praise brings peace. And we are up overcomers by the word of our mouth and the, and, and the blood of Jesus and the word of our mouth, our testimony, which comes out in the form of praise. That's that victory again. Praise, as I mentioned earlier, praise transitions us from focusing on self to acknowledging God. And therefore, we can pray for someone else. Praise can be done in a group situation, but it has an individualized within our heart. Praise puts first things first. Amen. But praising is a, uh, it, it puts things in correct alignment, amen? It puts things in spiritual alignment that we line up with God, with the Holy Spirit, with Lord Jesus Christ when we praise him. And it puts first things first. And God is well pleased with that. And then praise demonstrates that we believe and trust that God is, God will work on our behalf and that it demonstrates that we are um, true worshipers. So I'm going to go ahead and start uh, getting some music on here. And so we're going to, to together, together, amen. Amen. We're going to together make a joyful noise unto the Lord. Amen. Let me see if I can get this over here. God be the glory. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let's just praise him right now with your mouth. Lord, we praise you.
Yeah, 
We believe that you are the Christ. We believe you are the Christ. Jesus. Jesus. You are the Messiah.